guys, so right now I am going to be doing a Walmart grocery pickup. Um, so, so basically you go in your car and you follow the arrows and you park in the designated parking spots and they bring your groceries right to your car. And this is a great way to pick up groceries, especially during quarantine. It's very easy and convenient. I've used this one other time and I'm looking forward to doing it again. This time I purchased some ice cream, so we'll see uh, how that, like I'm hoping it's all still cool enough and yeah I don't think they would leave it out there I feel like they would wait to pick it up or do something but they told me that my order was ready a couple of minutes before my pickup time so my pickup time was five to six and I'm actually running a little late so I'm hoping that's okay you're supposed to check in on the app and I checked in that I'm on my way and so that means that they track your location through your phone and um, once you're there you just park in the designated parking places and you input and you input the number that you're in and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm there so yeah keep on watching keep so yeah keep on watching <laughs> So once you arrive at the store, you just want to follow the arrows that say pick up. As you can see, they are very noticeable and frequent and easy to follow. So if you see that orange wall, that's where your groceries will come out from, from that orange door. Um, and once you get there, you just park in any of the available parking spaces for pickup groceries and you open up the walmart app and choose grocery pickup and then you fill in the information what parking number you're in and your car color and you're all set your groceries should come out in just a few minutes uh, as you can see there was a little bit of a line outside of the building but it was moving pretty quickly and I'm also going to show you a short clip of how it works they just bring out a little trolley with blue baskets and they put your groceries inside for you very easy and then someone will come up to your window and sign for you, uh, uh, verify everything, and that's it. So we're back home, and I decided to do a haul of some of the things that we got. I will say one of the things I did not like about it was that they used too many plastic bags. And I will write a more full description of everything in the description if you're interested in that. So I'm going to start off with these outshined fruit bars. Lime flavor popsicles, they are really yummy and perfect for the summer weather. Next up in the ice cream category, we have these blue bunny mini vanilla swirls, as well as some regular sized, regular ice cream cones and some ready whipped cream. Some Hershey's caramel syrup. Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the almond milk. Hey guys, this is my orange juice. And this is 100% premium for the orange juice. And Family size swim pack of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. So uh, we decided to try the Great Value Cinnamon Crunch. Uh, but the verdict was that we did not enjoy it very much. It, it had really great reviews, but it just wasn't enjoyed by the fam. We also have a pack of Eggo waffles with chocolate chips, a family pack of 24, family size Chips Ahoy, some Little Debbie fudge rounds, go -Gurt Frozen with 24, some good old nature's own honey wheat bread. Very delicious Kellogg's Scooby-Doo 
baked graham cracker snacks cinnamon these are really good they they really live up to the hype of the tv show and my little sister wanted me to mention that there is a movie coming out called scoob up next is the nabisco family size honey made graham crackers hershey's extra large chocolate and the jet puffed marshmallows by Kraft. Funny story about these items is that the Hershey's, I ordered a six pack of regular sized Hershey's, but they didn't have them, so they substituted for six extra large Hershey's. And the Jeff Pup, I decided to try out the Great Value Marshmallows, and they didn't have any, so they substituted for these Kraft Jet Puffed. And when they substitute an item at Walmart, um, they don't change the price if it's something more expensive uh, but if it's something of a lower price they do give you the money back for that so i do encourage you guys to try substitutions in your orders and if you are not happy with your substitutions i do believe they don't charge you for it or maybe they don't give it to you um but um i was content with these substitutions Next up is the Lay's Classic Party Size, whoop whoop, and the Cheeto Puffs um, made with real cheese. But don't worry guys, these are just for us. No parties in the foreseeable future because we are still in quarantine. And by the way, that's not my hand. The Greek Gods Yogurt Flavored Honey, uh, it's so good. I really recommend. It's one of my favorite all-time yogurts. And I like to pair it with the Nature Valley granola. It has oats and dark chocolate. Very faint chocolate. You can hardly taste it, but it's really good. And I like to add blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and apples, all types of fruits and berries. And I have these Quaker oats, um, old-fashioned. And actually, they gave this to me on accident, but I contacted Walmart and they said, Oh, sorry about that. Um, you don't have to return it though. So that was good. And speaking of, I also like to add quick oats to my yogurt sometimes. Um, yeah. Also, it did not have raspberries. So I uh, picked up a little basket of those. A bunch of bananas. Um, six in total because we already had another bunch at home but uh, we eat a lot of bananas in this household so we always gotta have those at hand two cucumbers because um three would be just too many cucumbers but two is an acceptable amount of cucumbers to have a two pound bag of lime again three pounds too many but two acceptable two sweet oh my gosh why do you keep getting two of everything okay i do not discriminate against threes because i also got three chickpeas um cans of chickpeas chick chickpeas chick chickpeas some great value apple juice um i'm hoping they like this one uh, because one of them pointed out that it's apparently sugar free and apparently that's formidable um and i did read the reviews but they were like sponsored reviews and the cereal had better reviews but they ended up not liking it so and they're very picky about their apple juice so i was surprised that they let me buy it great value but we'll see i'll let you guys know in the description box if they ended up liking it and these are just some beef taquitos and trying the Wayman stainless steel cleaner and polish for refrigerators and glass cooktops. And the glass cooktop was one of the other substitutions. So I purchased the spray, but they didn't have it when I went to pick it up. So they replaced it with this one. And this one was like a dollar less. So they gave me the refund for that. Or I, I think they just didn't charge it, so that's how it works 
and some sheet protectors just to basically show you guys that they don't just pick up groceries you can pick up some other items cleaning supplies uh beauty products uh bath body office school books so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to use Walmart grocery pickup, I recommend that you use it. It was very fast and easy and convenient. And overall, I really do recommend you trying it, especially during quarantine. Not sponsored. If you want to use my referral code, I'll leave a link in the description box below and you will get $10 off your first grocery pickup of ten of thirty dollars or more um and i will also get i believe ten dollars um and that's all thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye bye great value sweet peas two bags 12 ounces each 24 ounces all together they're steamable steamable <laughs> do, do you think pizza garbanzos? Great value, 82 cents each. My sister Stop really, moving the camera! My sister really likes them. <laughs> oh yeah, I like those. She toot, for every pea she eats, she toots one. <laughs>